Hello students. Today I am going to take a small topic on vitamin E. So vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin, and its chemical name is tocopherol. This tocos comes from childbirth. Ferros comes from to beer. All is for alcohol. Now uh, tocopherol or vitamin E is a very effective antioxidant it is a naturally occurring antioxidant vitamin and it is also known as anti sterility vitamin because it helps in the process of normal reproduction now chemistry of vitamin e it consists of a ring known as chromene ring which has a hydroxyl group so it is 6 hydroxy chromene ring Along with the chromene ring, it is attached with an polyisoprenoid, a polyisoprenoid side chain. So polyisoprenoid side chain. Its structure is like this. It is the chromene ring. And the isoprenoid side chain. It is a hydroxyl group in the sixth position. It has methyl groups. So alpha tocopherol consists of three types of tocopherol: alpha tocopherol, beta tocopherol, and gamma tocopherol. Alpha tocopherol is five, seven, eight trimethyl tocol ring, tocol. As six hydroxy chromene ring is also known as tocol ring. So it is five, seven, eight trimethyl tocol. Beta tocopherol is five, eight. Dimethyl tocol and gamma tocopherol is seven, seven eight dimethyl tocol. So uh, among these alpha uh, tocopherols, alpha tocopherol is the most active and abundant uh, vitamin E. Now the absorption of vitamin E. as vitamin e is a fat soluble vitamin so it it is its absorption is along with fats and which is helped by bile salts next is transport in the liver vitamin e is incorporated in the ldl and vldl uh, which is transported in the blood so along with ldl and vldl next is stores it is stored in the liver adipose tissue and muscle then excretion the chromene ring and the isoprenoid side chain is oxidized first then it is conjugated with glucuronic acid and it is excreted in the bile and the plasma level of vitamin e is less than 1 mg per deciliter recommended dietary allowance it is around 8 mg for women 10 mg for men for pregnant ladies it is 10 mg for lactating mothers it is 12 mg and for children it is 7 to 10 mg next is the source it is mainly found in the vegetable oils like peanut oil sunflower oil corn oil like that and meat butter eggs also contains vitamin e now coming to the function of vitamin e the main function of vitamin e is is its antioxidant property so it helps us uh to counter the oxidative stress so the oxidants are as you all know it is, these are free radicals and these free radicals are mainly the reactive oxidant species which harms our important macromolecules like nucleic acid proteins and also harms our bilayer lipid membranes which causes lipid peroxidation
So what is lipid peroxidation? So bilayer membrane uh, which envelops the cell and organelles in our body consists of the phospholipid molecules. The one part of the phospholipid molecule is the fatty acids. This two chains, the fatty acid chains are there and uh, in the fatty acid we have polyunsaturated fatty acids. So when polyunsaturated fatty acid is attacked by a free radical, free radicals are those which have an unpaired electron. So it turns the polyunsaturated fatty acid in a, to a free radical. Then this free radical polyunsaturated fatty acid will convert its nearby PUFA to another free radical. So this reaction goes on. So this is chain reaction. So this is also known as lipid peroxidation. And when there is lipid peroxidation, there is lysis of the membrane. Now how vitamin E prevents this? Lipid peroxidation. Suppose this is the membrane, cell membrane, this is the cytosol, okay, this is the extracellular side. So, phospholipid bilayer membrane has this component polyunsaturated fatty acids. acid. If this Normal PUFA is attacked by a free radical, it is converted into a PUFA superoxide free radical. Then it converts its nearby PUFA to another free radical, so it, this reaction goes on and it triggers a chain reaction. Now what happens? This PUFA superoxide free radical is reduced by tocopherol. And this tocopherol gets oxidized. It gets oxidized. And it can be re regenerated by vitamin. C. This is the reduced form, this is the oxidized form. Now this PUFA superoxide free radical is reduced by tocopherol to form PUFA hydroxyl free radical OOH. This PUFA hydroxyl free radical is removed from the phospholipid structure by the enzyme phospholipase A2. Phospholipase, phospholipase A2. This PUFA hydroxyl free radical is reduced to PUFA OH by an enzyme known as glutathion peroxidase which consists of selenium. This is reduced glutathion, this is oxidized glutathion. So this is how a PUFA superoxide radical is con first converted into PUFA hydroperoxide radical then it is again reduced and in this process tocopherol helps and vitamin C helps the tocopherol and it also requires selenium containing enzyme known as glutathione peroxidase. So this is the antioxidant action of the vitamin E. So because of its antioxidant action, it prevents some uh, chronic diseases like diabetes atherosclerosis and it, uh, cancer and it can also prevent aging. Okay, so uh, deficiency of vitamin E is uh, not that reported in experimental animals. The induced deficiency may cause sterility. 
there may be hypervitaminosis also uh, there will be mild symptoms like nausea and there may be also <clears throat> anticoagulation okay so this is all about vitamin e